Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So what I'm going to do is read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energy that I'm picking up on and I also urge you to play with time this could be a past connection a current situation or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks so let's go ahead and get started let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns please for their highest and greatest good All right, so we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. That's your energy. You're viewing your person as the Nine of Wands in reverse and the connection as the Page of Pentacles. Okay, your person is showing up as the Ace of Swords in reverse. They're viewing you as the Hanged Man, Pisces energy, and the connection as the Four of Swords. So things are definitely on pause or that's how your person is seeing things. Now the energy between you is the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Page of Wands, forward movement, forward movement, and the Five of Wands in reverse telling me that things can be healed and this can move in a very balanced, stable direction. Empress energy, beautiful. Capricorn, so this Taurus and Libra energy here with the Empress feels like that's your energy. Holding yourself in high regard, holding back. You want growth, expansion. I do feel this person recognizes your worth and your value. Um, I see you recognizing your worth and your value. And with the King of Pentacles energy in reverse, I feel like you're not giving a whole lot to this connection. And your person sees that. Your person sees that you've pulled back your energy. You might be focused on your health, your finances. But it feels like either you're on a pause in separation or you've had a fight or an argument. See, you're ready, you want victory, you want things to come together. But I also feel with the Nine of Wands energy in reverse, it's like your person, you you see them that they need to let down their walls and their barriers. Um, with the Ace of Swords energy in reverse, this is somebody that has a blocked throat chakra. So there's a need for clarity, there's a need for communication. I feel like maybe your person, I don't know, like your person might talk a lot or not enough, right? But it's like you, you need them to let down those protective walls and barriers. Some of my Capricorns, you, you know, this person has walked away. Um, they might have told you that they're feeling exhausted. They might have told you that, you know, whatever it is, it feels like they've walked away from this connection. Maybe they told you they needed a break. All right, and it feels like you're honoring that Capricorn, but it looks like, again, six of six of wands energy. A lot of you too, you might be very, I'm getting that you are really up-leveling when it comes to your finances or when it comes to career. I like that. It's like you're getting a lot of attention and maybe this person, Capricorn, just be aware, maybe this person started to feel a little bit jealous or a little bit resentful because of that weird little message coming through. But with the page of pentacles here, I can see that you want to give this connection a fresh start. You wanna heal things. You wanna get back on track. So whatever has happened here, Capricorn, I can see that you want this connection to move forward. You see this as your person. The Six of Wands is also an energy of I want victory, I want marriage, or I want commitment, or I wanna to come together here. Now your person is showing up as the Ace of Swords in reverse. And the night, yeah, your person's not communicating. Now, I have a feeling your person may have a tendency to create a little bit of drama. I don't know if they hung up on you. I don't know if they are the person that like storms out of, you know, arguments or they block you. Don't ignore red flags, okay? The Six of Wands is also a reminder not to ignore red flags, but it feels like your person has, is not talking. They have shut down or they've cut off communication. Now they're viewing you as the hanged man, so they are looking at all the details here, but they see that you're not really taking action, and that really could have scared this person, Capricorn, and it's like, I feel like they don't want to be rejected, or they don't want to evaluate what's really going on here, so they went quiet. 
yeah, and the Knight of Rods. See, this person thinks that you might be playing them. This person might also feel like you're putting yourself or others before this connection with the Knight of Rods, like you've given up on them or you've got one foot in the door and one foot out. And it does look like something here has happened that made you pull back your energy. Now, that does not mean that you're wish-washy. It's how they're viewing you. And again, this may be somebody I do pick up on who may be hurt or have been hurt in the past, or they've been cheated on the past. So I do feel like this person's bringing some of that past energy into this current connection. Now, they're viewing the connection as the Four of Swords. So nothing's happening, the Two of Wands, but they want forward movement, Capricorn. They know that there's some big de decisions to make, and the Two of Wands is oftentimes a twin flame card. What we often ignore is that there are two different people in this card, okay, holding on, like somebody's you know, they see you as their, as the person that, you know, that, that comes to their aid, that builds them up, that you two can do this together. You can move forward together. So for a lot of you, I want you to be careful because it can be an unhealthy pattern to be, you know, to shut off communication or to block one another or somebody who, who has, I feel communication is an issue with your person, um, for whatever reason, it feels like there's some past baggage there, but I do feel at the same time, although that shouldn't be ignored and needs to be addressed, that there's a possibility of movement forward here. The Wheel of Fortune says there's absolutely a reason that you two are on each other's path and there's a restlessness to heal, but you have to get to the heart of the matter first. And I actually love this energy because it's like the Four of Swords being turned around. Okay, this is going to take some work. We need to have some tough conversations. We need to realign in that spirit of compromise. But I see it happening with the Page of Wands, whether this is you sending them a message or them coming forward to you. Sagittarius energy, there's healing, wish fulfillment, two of cups energy. See, I see that you two can work this out. You can get on the same page. The five of wands in reverse, letting go of drama, healing things. The strength card, somebody here is in their ego energy. You know, this is a shadow side of Leo, which can be somebody who's quite headstrong or self-centered, possessive, um, impatient, um, dominating. But I also feel that this is also somebody who, you know, somebody who maybe let those, let that energy get a hold of them. And it feels like it's your person. But I feel that there's a conversation and Capricorn, it feels like you're coming in to address some of these things with your person and it and it, and it feels like it feels like it's a good thing. I don't know if you're the first person to ever tell them, you know, that this behavior is not okay or if you just, you know, love this person and you're willing to hold space for them. It almost feels like they need to grow and evolve and you know that, but it feels like there's a lot of love here and it feels like it's a real possibility. So again, by no means Capricorn, am I saying that you need to be someone's therapist? By no means am I saying that you have to put up with someone's shit if they're not treating you right, or, you know, you need to teach somebody or police somebody else's behavior. Absolutely not. But the energy here I'm getting is that your person may have had, it almost feels like they threw like some sort of major temper tantrum and I feel like your energy is showing me that you want victory, that you want to heal things. And it looks like they want the same thing, that this is a connection that's not, that you don't want to give up on. The Eight of Swords energy tells me that there's definitely a lot of overthinking, but the Eight of Swords can also indicate that things are not as bad as they seem. So I kind of feel like this is your person's energy, Capricorn. Like they're kind of freaking out that, you know, they really mess things up here. And, you know, of course, it's going to be up to you. Remember my, you know, what I just said, it is not your job to fix someone and it is not your job to be someone's punching bag or their therapist or, you know, to teach somebody how to behave. But we do need to teach people how we want to be treated. And I feel it's more of, you know, more of the latter. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, the Eight of Swords is like, is a reminder things might not be as bad as they seem. I love that we have the temperance energy here in the heart of this reading with the Page of Wands because I do feel that there's going to be healing. There's going to be wish fulfillment. It feels like there's a coming together here, Capricorn. So let's see. We have Magic Works Through You. Yeah, so I, I do feel like Capricorn, like you... I, I actually really love your energy because with the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, I feel that you have this optimism of getting back on track. 
um, and doing it right. There's a, there's a maturity to your energy that I'm really loving. Believe in yourself, squirrel spirit. Yeah, I love that. So a lot of you, you feel like, you know what? We've put a lot of time and effort into this. It's not something I want to give up on. And I also think that you also with the six of wands, like you know what you want and you know how you deserve to be treated and you're going to let this person know. And if they're on board, awesome. If they're not, I also see you moving in a different direction because the Empress is not going to put up with, you know, anyone's shit for too long, right? So we have time to collaborate and spirit. So you're a person. That's what, that's what I was trying to say, and I didn't do such an eloquent job of it, but they do see you as their person. They do see you as somebody they want to collaborate with that, you know, I feel they want to build. There might be a little bit of an age difference between you and this person, or it could just be emotional maturity, but know your worth. Yeah. And I also feel your person is recognizing you are Empress energy, male or female, it doesn't matter, but you're somebody that's worth fighting for Capricorn. And there's always enough. Koi fish spirit tells me that there's a lot of abundance here. Um, there's potential for getting on the same page. I also feel my Capricorns, you know your worth and your value. You know what you bring to the table. And I, I just love this energy because I do feel that you're giving this person a chance. You want to give this relationship a chance. And, and like I said, you're in this energy of, well, I have everything that I need. So if you're on board and we can realign in, in, a, in the spirit of compromise, then we'll go forward. If not, you know what? I know that, you know, I know that I have other options or not that you have other options like around you, but I mean, some of you might, but you know your worth and your value. And I just love that. So your person's energy, life purpose, what is it you're being prompted to change? Yeah, see, I feel like your person is being prompted to change this blocked throat chakra and maybe up leveling a little bit. Um, you know, like, uh, like evaluate your life path and your life's work. Something fulfilling awaits you. I feel, I think this is an energy of them becoming accountable and self-worth. Some of you, your person, and I, this came out early in the reading, some of you, and we see know your worth, this person is carrying some baggage around from past relationships where they were either cheated on or maybe even it comes from childhood where, you know, maybe they had a neglectful or absent parent or something like that. But it almost feels like they created drama or they totally shut down, you know, one or the other because they didn't feel good enough. And and again, your energy Capricorn is coming out so strong, so strong. So I can see why, you know, anybody who might be lacking in a little bit of self-worth might feel a little intimidated here, but I do feel that there's love here. Um, and I, and I feel that you're, I do feel that this is a, a case of you wanting to hold space for them. Um, and accountability. Yeah holding this person accountable, no more BS behavior. Your healing journey invites you to look in the mirror without filter, without blame, and with total ownership of your past and future. I don't know which Capricorns I am connecting with, but you are in such a badass energy. You know, you are just owning it. You're owning your past, you're owning your future. I feel like you're giving this person another chance because that's what you feel you want or you need to do. And yeah. And you're trusting, you're trusting that no matter what, you're going to be okay. I just love this. So what you're seeing is an important message for you from the divine. This could be prophetic in nature or serve as powerful symbolism. So trust, trust that intuition of yours and expansion. New opportunities are being presented now. Walk through the door to greater experience and abundance. On another note here, Capricorns, your finances, your abundance is going to blow up. There's going to be some sort of unexpected gift um, or you're just going to get a raise or a promotion or you're getting a lot of attention there with the six of wands. But I also feel that this connection has so much potential for growth and expansion that this is a little wrinkle and if not, it's like, and for those of you who are like, yeah, no, nah, it's not get, getting back on track. <laughs> New opportunities are being presented to you. So it's just a beautiful energy of just being so in alignment, Capricorn, and so sure of yourselves, more sure than you've ever been. And that's, that's a powerful energy to be in without being arrogant, right? So let's see, clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns. And we get play hard, find time to laugh, goof off and enjoy each other. So some of you, it could be that there were challenges at work. And for some of you, like I'm getting a specific message. Some of you have been so focused on saving or up leveling, getting a raise, promotion, a new job, starting a business. You know, your person might have thrown a bit of a temper tantrum here. Um, but I do feel it's important to have that work life balance 
and an addiction is affecting this relationship. Again, it could just be overthinking. When I get this energy of addiction, obviously it certainly can be drugs, alcohol, gambling, whatever, but it's something that somebody needs to get out from under and it's something that's embedded in their nervous system. Um, all right, let's see. And, and, it, and it is something that can be healed and we get support. Yeah, lean on your inner circle during this time and you're safe and divinely guided. Wow. All right, Capricorns, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, Capricorns, love and light.